Hey guys, this is Ross with Hamel Bro Studios, and I'm going to post a quick cheat that I've been using in Resolve for some time. I saw somebody post in one of the Resolve forums recently about color matching shots, and um, this is a, like I said, a little cheat that I've used to help expedite that process. So here it is. Basically, I've got all these shots here, and this probably isn't the best for color matching but you can see there are some differences in these shots for this lens comparison that we were doing and um, basically I just want to make sure all these shots match so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a LUT onto my footage here and using the new browser the LUT browser in Resolve 15 beta. I'm just going to drag that on. I'm going to highlight all of these. I'm going to center click with my mouse. That way they all get the same LUT. This is shot on the Ursa Mini 4.6K original, not the Pro. And so I'm using the Blackmagic Ursa Mini LUT on my second node. And we'll be able to see some of the differences here a little better. But the, the cheat I wanted to show is really it's super helpful if you're trying to match several shots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to this split screen, turn it on, and it brings up this drop down menu right here. I go down and hit selected clips. And what I can do is I can hold shift or control. Right now I'm holding shift and I can select multiple clips. And I can physically see the difference of all of these at the same time. And the really cool thing is I can select the clips. It's almost like a multi-cam window, but whatever clip I select, it brings up that clip's node tree. So um, obviously this is probably um, a lot easier <laughs> for me given that I've got a color chart. So now that I've got this set up, I can easily um, you know, go through and match my shots. What I would actually do in real life is go ahead and right here, and th this is specific to using a color chart, but you know, why not add this information? So I would add an alpha output and then set a rectangular mask around my chart here. And this works, you, know, you can use this with anything in the shot that's either straight white or uh, gray. If you have a, just a gray card, you can do the same thing. Zero all these out so that that's a good hard edge. And then connect my alpha output here. And then if I look at my scopes, which are on the other page. Um, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to swap screens on you here. There we go. So now you can see I've got my scopes over here and I'm just gonna use my temperature to cool this down a little, get, the, get that going. Use the temp control, kind of line these up, get that as close as I can. Vector scope looks good. All this other stuff looks really good. I'm gonna go back and swap my screen again. And I'm just gonna kill this mask and kill that there. And I'd say that's pretty darn good. It's definitely got, um, looks more balanced. And so with that, I can turn this back on and obviously I have one corrected to go off of. And I can just do the same over here. I can adjust my temperature on this. Kind of cool it down a little bit. Bring the tint over and the only problem with this is that the qualifier tool doesn't work. So that makes it really difficult, especially if you're like me and you use the qualifier for um, for its RGB values, but that's, that's not bad. And if I, yeah, if we just select these two, 
then I can kind of see the difference in my scope. Obviously this right one's a little bit brighter, so I can pull that back. Just take that oh, wrong one. Go over here, that's the one I want. Pull this one back just a little bit so that all of my grays are more lined up. And we have a relatively close match um, using this split screen tool and selecting multiple clips. And you can just keep doing this all the way down. So I'll go over here and my scopes are this little, little hot on that one. So I'll bring it back just a little, cool the temperature down there, pull the tent back, maybe pull it back just a little more. And if you've got false color, you can easily adjust the exposure. But, and this, this obviously isn't perfect. I'm just running through this really quick. But now you can see all three of these shots are relatively close and that did not take very long. So hopefully um, the split screen will save you a lot of time. And it's really, really, really great, especially if you don't have a color chart and you can't cheat like I did with all of these. So best of luck and let me know in the comments if this was helpful.